Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I want to explain the basics behind DNS spoofing. Now DNS spoofing is actually a type of man in the middle attack and if you guys don't know what a man in the middle attack is it's really uh, simple to explain. So basically and by the way if you can't tell in this little example this is the good person and this is the hacker or attacker and we'll just pretend that they're at a coffee shop or whatever I don't know why <laughs> it doesn't really matter but why not pretend they're at a coffee shop so normally you know if nothing bad's going on then what's gonna happen is this girl that I'm gonna randomly give the name Emily she's gonna have a conversation with the access point say like go to a uh, you know Facebook whatever and the access point is gonna go off to Facebook or whatever it needs and then send it back to her so that's how normal conversations work. <laughs> like the most simple explanation of it, whatever. Now a man in the middle attack can actually mean a couple things. The first thing it can mean is that we have an attacker and he is just pretty much snooping or listening on the traffic. So the first type, like I said, is just eavesdropping. Now another type of man in the middle attack is a little bit more deadly and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. And that is where the attacker actually positions himself in the middle of that conversation so now he isn't just listening to it but all of the traffic between Emily and the access point actually passes through him and that way he can inject uh, you know packets he can alter all the traffic any way he wants and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in the next tutorial but before we do that we actually need to understand that this attack is actually broken up into two parts the first part is the man in the middle so before he can start altering traffic doing whatever this attacker first just needs to gain position in the middle of their conversation now the way that he does this is through ARP spoofing now if you guys are completely unfamiliar with ARP basically what it is is it's a way that this access point and all of these devices actually know which IP correlates to which MAC address so we'll say that this iPad right here it has the MAC address of A A A A A A whatever not a real MAC address but there you go now this attacker his interface he has a MAC address of BB 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 awesome handwriting Bucky awesome handwriting so whenever these devices first join a network this router and all of these devices are gonna start learning which MAC address correlates to which IP address so we'll give this the IP address of 1.1.1.1 uh, and we'll give this the IP address of 2.2.2.2 so what ARP spoofing is is pretty much messing with this correlation now this way once the router is aware which IP address correlates to which MAC address whenever it gets traffic from the internet and that traffic is destined for let's say 1.1.1.1 it says oh okay so I know that is meant for this device a a a a a a so routers use this the internet uses this and ARP is how it can correlate this IP address to this device now for the first part of the attack the man in the middle what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sending these devices both Emily and the access point the wrong ARP answers so basically when the access point asks who is Emily we're gonna be saying oh that's me right here I am Emily <laughs> and whenever Emily says okay I need to send something to the internet who is the access point I'm gonna say yep that's me too so they're gonna believe that well Emily's gonna believe that I'm the access point and the access point is gonna believe that I am Emily and for most of the traffic what I can do is I can just send it through so whenever she wants to send something to the internet I can just pass it through and they are none the wiser but some traffic such as you know when she's going to her like banks website or maybe well DNS is we're gonna be seeing in the next tutorial we can alter it in some kind of way you know maybe if there's a file we may want to add some cool features to it but that's what we're gonna do so then once we inject ourselves in the middle of their conversation and they just believe that they're talking to each other directly what we can do is continue with the second part of the attack which is actually the DNS 
spoof. Now whenever Emily starts going to websites, she is going to need to know the IP address of those servers. So she's going to go to bankofamerica.com and she knows the domain name, bankofamerica.com. But in order for computers to actually connect to that server, they need to know the IP address. So domain names are just for humans, IP addresses are what computers actually need. So her browser behind the scenes, it's going to go, what's, uh, I'll just write, what's the IP of Bank of America? All right, B-O-A, if you can't read my handwriting. So her browser is supposed to send this off to a DNS server to get the answers, and that's what question it's going to ask. Now the DNS server is going to respond something like 2.2.2.2. Uh, and then when it gets to us, we're going to say, all right, uh, Bank of America, that is 192.168.0.11. And that is actually the attacker right here. So whenever, like I said, she is wondering what the IP address of the server is, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're pretty much going to lie to her and give her the wrong answer. So then the attacker can host a fake Bank of America webpage, and she's going to type in all of her credentials and... You think they're going to go to the real Bank of America server? Uh-uh. So this guy has them. She is pwned. And that is the two-step process. Remember, the first one is ARP spoofing, where you gain entry in the middle of this conversation. And the second one is DNS spoofing, where whenever she needs the IP address of a server, we give her the wrong answer. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'll see you guys in the next video.